And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons. A time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations. A time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs. A time when a special man came forward, a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear a man whom they took prisoner and hid away, a man whose name is Yahweh bin Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh bin Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh bin Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years, a story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, Yuhei-Wavhe. Olam, Olam shall, shall Yuhei-Wavhe. The universe of Yuhei-Wavhe. Brought to you by the nation of Yuhei-Wavhe. Working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the day of judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse, and it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places. And we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed, and at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh bin Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh, featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, 
laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Heh, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us. However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yishraya. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. The first two commandments ever given to man were given to Adam, which were to dress and to keep the Garden of Eden. We are discussing the second commandment, which was to keep the Garden of Eden. For review purposes, let us highlight some of the important points of view we discussed last week. We examined another meaning of the word keep and told you that keep also means save. Save was defined as to deliver from sin. The word deliver, we told you, means to set free. We read 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, which describes sin as the transgression of the law. We postulated from these facts that to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh commanded Adam to teach the people the laws of Yahweh and then give them the freedom to make up their own minds or to decide for themselves whether they will or will not govern their behavior by the laws of Yahweh as written in the Holy Bible. In addition, we presented another side of the word keep and told you that it also means preach and preserve. We learned that preach means to spread the word and preserve means to maintain in safety from injury or harm. The word maintain is synonymous to defend and shield. All these things being considered, we asserted that to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh commanded Adam to spread the word about the laws of Yahweh to the people and to impress heavily upon their minds that keeping the laws of Yahweh will not only preserve their soul, but also defend and shield them in safety from injury or harm, which we verified in Psalm chapter 121, verses 7 and 8. Furthermore, we presented proof of this promise in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. We pointed out in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, that keeping the laws of Yahweh gives us and our seed life and blessing, but transgressing the laws of Yahweh gives us and our seed death and cursing. We let it be known that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, has come to take away our transgressing the laws of Yahweh by teaching us the laws and by commanding us to keep them. We warned you not to be misled to believe that the laws of the Bible do not count today. We expressed that if we want to be saved, we must keep the laws of Yahweh as written in the Holy Bible from Genesis through Revelation. We presented some compelling documentation to show that we ourselves must make up our own minds to either keep the laws of Yahweh or to keep the laws of man. We read Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 and pointed out that we must choose this day whom we will serve. Today, we will continue our discussion of the second direct commandment that Yahweh gave to man, Adam, which was to keep the Garden of Eden 
heaven. Referenced in the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, copyright 1990, in the Hebrew Chaldee Dictionary, on page 118, reference number 8104, keep in Hebrew is shamar, and another one of its meanings is mark. Let's examine the word mark so we can make a determination of how it relates to the word keep and to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. On the authority of the Cambridge International Dictionary of English, copyright 1996, on page 866, mark means a symbol which is used for giving information. It also means an action which is understood to represent or show a characteristic of a person. Symbol is synonymous to code. Documented in the Cambridge International Dictionary of English on page 254, code by definition means a set of written rules which state how people in a particular country should behave. To sum this up, Mark, as it relates to keep, means that Yahweh commanded Adam to give a set of written rules to the people to show them how they should behave in the Garden of Eden. Let's learn something about these rules. According to the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, copyright 1978, on page 1057, some synonyms for rule are commandment, law, and statute. We see here that Adam gave the people of the earth the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of Yahweh by which to govern their behavior. Let's open our Bible and read about this in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 1 and 8 which reads in part, Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God, Yahweh, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments always. Therefore shall ye keep all the commandments which I command you this day. The commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes that Yahweh gave to Adam in the garden are the same commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes that he commands us to govern our behavior today. Why did Yahweh command Adam to provide the people with a written set of rules? The answer can be found in Romans chapter 15, verse 4 which reads in part, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. The commandments of Yahweh were written aforetime for our learning today. When we keep the commandments of Yahweh, our character is markedly distinguishable from those who choose not to keep them. Those of us who keep the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of Yahweh represent or show the character of Yahweh. What are some of the characteristics of Yahweh? Let us open our Bible and turn to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4, which reads, He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. Judgment means a divine decision. Ways means essentially laws. For all the laws of Yahweh are based on truth. Therefore, Yahweh's character always reflects truth. 
and he is without iniquity. Iniquity means sin, and sin is the transgression of the law. Yahweh is without transgression of the law. He is also just in all his dealings, straightforward, open, honest, and right in all his decisions. In like manner, as the second Adam, Yahweh ben Yahweh is here teaching us to have the same identical character as that of Yahweh. In addition, he is also teaching us that keeping the commandments of Yahweh is the only way to show our love for him. Let us read about this in 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, and it reads, For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. The commandments of Yahweh are not grievous, which means they are not distressing, painful, oppressing, or sorrowful. However, following the laws of man brings all of these things upon us. Thus, the word mark, as it relates to keep, means that Yahweh warned Adam that to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil would reflect a behavior that would be contrary to the keeping of his commandments. Keeping the laws of Yahweh is our protection against those who come to us with falsehood. We must choose this day whether we want our behavior to reflect the character of Yahweh or to reflect the character of the serpent who beguiled Eve. In order to reflect the character of Yahweh, our behavior must be marked by keeping the commandments of Yahweh. Next week, we will continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mark D is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Enlightened One is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religions have been speaking of for over 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. What does eternal life mean? Eternal life means life without end. It means forever. Not only during the time of one's natural life, but through endless ages of eternal life and blessedness. To find out more, read The Messiah Revealed by Yahweh Ben Yahweh. To order, call us at 1-800-967-7337 or Check out our new website and online bookstore at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Most people are not aware of the fact that America is in the Bible. 
She is cryptically called Babylon. Revelation 18:2. In 1986, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, sent the president, vice president, his cabinet, every senator, and congressman, the book Yahweh Judges America, which warned them of the inevitable destruction of America. This book explains all that the prophets said would come upon America in the day of judgment. You can now read what Yahweh Ben Yahweh told the government over 10 years ago. To get a copy of Yahweh Judges America, call the number on your screen today. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. The Messiah, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, has been raised up. Behold, this is the day that Yahweh promised that he would raise unto David a righteous branch and a king who would reign and prosper and execute judgment and justice in the earth. This is the day that the Bible said Judah, the so-called black man of America, would be saved and Israel would dwell safely. And this is the name whereby our Savior would be called Yahweh, our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days have come that they shall no more say, Yahweh lives, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather they shall say, Yahweh lives, which is bringing up and which is leading the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, America, and from all countries where Yahweh has driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land. Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 5 through 8. This is one of several passages which refer to the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh. He is described by four terms which not only parallel the four Gospels, but they are also their absolute foundation. The first term is found in this passage. Unto David a righteous branch and a king, signifying his rulership as seen in the book of Matthew. And the foundation is found in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, which says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, 
and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> That just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. Almighty Yahweh himself promised that he would raise unto David a righteous branch and a king who would reign forever. This is that day, the day that the Bible said Judah, the so-called black man of America, would be saved and Israel would dwell in safety. And the name Yahweh ben Yahweh is the name whereby our Savior would be called. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshemeyaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yiase Razonka, Kiva Shemayim Kain Baaretz, Et Lekum Kukainu, Tain La Nu Hayom, Uslak La Nu, Al Kati Enu, Kimosha Sol Kim. Gamanaknu, la koteum la nu, veal tefie nu, la de nisayon, kim kal se nu, min hara, kilaka, hamam laha, veha givara, veha tiferet, leolame, olamin sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal king, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, Ask about the special discount on the crucifixion of the Messiah. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the divine mind of Yahweh ben Yahweh on the internet at the address on the screen.